tonight on the news, Anambra State Government trains over 100 drivers, others. Abga Chiaman Eze Okewa urges members to advance party interests. Global rights seek solution to security challenges, conflict in Nigeria. Operations remain severely disrupt at Dubai Airport as UAE rainfall persists. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saluda has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome. My name is Chinyere Ikeoreke. Details of the news. 152 drivers, motor mechanics and other technical workers in the Anambra State government have participated in a six-month training organized by the Anambra State Civil Service to increase their work efficiency and also to enable them to attain higher ranks in their careers. Correspondent Kenichi Kuchikudi tells us more held at the Jerome Dojisek Oka for drivers, mechanics, and technical workers in ministries, departments, and agencies of government included those at the local government levels. Speaking during the event, the Anambra State Head of Service, Barrister Theodora Igwebe, explained that the training was aimed at transforming the participants. Barrister Igwebe, who appreciated the government for organizing the training at no cost to the participants, urged the participants to allow the impact of the training to reflect on their day-to-day -day activities. Uh, skills have been improved, attitudes have been improved, and we expect better results in the different offices where they are going back to. We advise them to be good ambassadors of the state government wherever they are. The director of training at the State Civil Service, Mrs. Shinere Ojuku, remarked that the training was held last in 2019 and that it will help the batch 15 participants get acquainted with work ethics and keep moving up the ladder in their careers. She also pointed out that the resource persons, through impact-oriented teachings, have further equipped the participants to better discharge their responsibilities at work. Without this training, they cannot be converted to their own superintendents, which they will be converted to their of aids. And the uh, people that has more years inside me get to the thing. The chairman, Anambra State Coordinating Council of Technical Workers Association, Mr. Daniel Echezona, appreciated Governor Chukuma Soludo for making the training a reality and pleaded for the review of non-accident bonus for drivers and their overtime allowance. It is not an easy one. We are very much appreciative to the governor and head of service on this. And we also want him to remember that we applied, we met him as a union, as an association for trainers, which includes this training. Uh, review of our non as bonus. Some participants, including the overall best driver of the training, Mr. Matthew Mwafo, who won a cash prize of 20,000 Naira, the second runner up, Mr. Cyril Ibik, who also won a cash prize of 15,000 Naira, and Mr. Vincent Wadiobu of Anambra Broadcasting Service Oka, expressed happiness for participating in the program as they have gained. A lot. The event climaxed with symbolic certificate presentation to participants and award winners by the head of service. In order to ensure that Indian Nambra and other residents of the state eat hygienic food and drink safe and portable water, especially in the various healthcare facilities in Anambra, stakeholders on food safety and hygiene, water sanitation and hygiene have been inaugurated in Oka. Inaugurating the committee, the Anambra State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afam Obidike, said that Governor Chukuma Saludo's administration is passionate about food safety in the state as his government is committed to ensuring that Indian Nambra eats good and safe food that are not contaminated under any guise. Dr. Obdike, represented by the Permanent Secretary of the State, Dr. Obiagelu Chebu, pointed out that food safety is one of the most significant issues in the state and Nigeria in general, as most people eat out on a daily basis and charge the stakeholders to take their job seriously, even as he commended Governor Soludo for the ongoing provision of portable water in the state. Giving an overview of the program, the Anambra State Food Safety and Hygiene Coordinator, Dr. Rose Amasiani, said that the group was created in April 2021 aimed at enhancing the understanding of stakeholders on the importance and principles of domestication of food safety and hygiene program in Anambra. 
The state director of public health, Dr. Afom Aneme, noted that the campaign needs all the relevant stakeholders to key in and help to propagate the gospel of eating good and safe food as well as drinking potable water in their various homes and hospitals. Earlier in his address, the Anambra State Chairman of Food Vendors Association of Nigeria, Comrade Obi Maduabugu, assured that they would do everything humanly possible to deliver on the mandate given to them by involving all the relevant stakeholders to sensitize and educate the citizenry. Speaking on behalf of the Transition Committee Chairman and Transition Committee Chairman of Anambra East Local Government Area, Dr. Aslem Onora, promised that they would give the association all the necessary support for them to excel, stressing the need for a robust and massive sensitization of the people. The national chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, Barista Sly, Ezekiwa, has called on all party members to always be committed and dedicated in advancing the cause of the political party. Barista Okenwa stated this when the member representing Anna Bright East constituency in the State House of Assembly, Barista Obi Mweke, and his entourage paid him a courtesy call in Oka. Welcoming his guest, Barrister Eze Okenwa expressed joy with the commitment of the Barrister Okenwa to the cause of Abga, describing the lawmaker as a committed and loyal party stalwart, and urged him to remain loyal and continue working and supporting the party at all times. The Abga National Chairman urged Barrister Mweke to use his wealth of experience as a former Transition Committee Chairman of Anambra East Local Government Area to bring people of the local government together to ensure that Abga flag continues to fly in all coming elections, especially in the second term bid of Governor Chukuma Soludo, whom he said has promised or performed extremely well. Earlier in his remark, Barrister Aweke expressed happiness with the leadership quality of Barrister Eze Okenwa, whom he described as a man with vision and ideas to reposition the party for greater prospects. The Anambra State lawmaker maintained that Barrister Eze Okenwa has left no stone unturned towards making Abga an heaviest political party in Nigeria and commended him for his numerous achievements so far as the national chairman of the party. Barrister Mweke was accompanied by the APGA chairman of Anambra East Local Government Area, Joseph Emeka Nkualo, and his chief of staff, Honorable Cyril Kafo, among others. The Bishop Methodist Church Nigeria Diocese of Oka writes Reverend Onyekachi Wakama has described or decried the man-made marriage of crisis both economic, political and religiously and socially bedeviling the country. Right Reverend Wakama stated that uh, this while delivering his bishop address at the 2024 Dalsitian Synod head at the Cathedral of Holy Trinity, Amenyoka, Oka South Council area. ABS religious correspondent Amaka Chibuzokoi has details. Which was themed Arise and Build, saw the House of Bishop, clergy, and laity who came to bear witness to the Synod and support the work of the ministry. The bishop noted that it appears that the more they talk, cry, complain, analyze, and agitate, the more their rulers develop hard skin and unimaginable sensitivities to the sufferings and plight of the people. Right Reverend Wakama stated that Nigeria is abundantly and richly blessed with both human and natural resources, yet it has turned into something close to cause as they were bamboozled them with the claims that they have removed subsidy and tactfully succeeded, but the unilateral decision has roundly crippled the country. I therefore encourage and charge every leader in Sino today, in Christendom, in our contemporary society, to believe in God and to develop their prayer life like Nehemiah did. The prelate further congratulated Governor Chuku Masoludo and his deputy, Dr. Onyeka Chuku Ibezim, for their second year in office, stating that they have been focused on their quest to make Anambra State a secured and clean environment, pointing out that apart from being able to pay workers as at when due, Anambra Adibagoma, as his recent visit to some parts of the state, testifies to that and called on them to continue to do more. The keynote speaker and lay president of Uzakoli Sir Dr. Johnson Chuku, represented by Barrister John Ajoga, said that the theme of the Synod implies that as the biblical Nehemiah called on people of Israel to rise, 
and build the wind walls of Jerusalem, so they are calling on the leaders, affluent, and every member of Nigeria to arise and build the nation as the country is in a state of dilemma and needs urgent attention to get things right. The keynote giver was just drawing analysis with, that, with Nigeria. He said, Nigeria is like the wall of Jerusalem and require everybody, including the church and other members of Nigeria, to arise and build up Nigeria, economically, spiritually, physically, in every aspect, Nigeria is in ruins and need people to arise and build up the place. That just is the Methodist Bishop Wakamaleta presented awards of excellent service in God's Vineyard to some deserving individuals, in which the chairman, Grand Hamano Academy, Oka, Mr. Chijoke Mwajuana, expressed gladness for receiving an award from the church, saying it shows that it comes from the rightful place as serving God pays, and extolled Bishop Mwakama for his massive work in the diocese, both in evangelism and project development. I will continue to pray for the church. The church is our home. You know, I've said it before now that here is my second home. You know, so we continue to pray and support the church in whichever way we can. So that is all what we can do in order to keep the church of God together. Launching of bishops' address and presentation of awards, climbers, the synod. From Cathedral of Holy Trinity, Oka, Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. In recent times, Nigeria has been confronted by multiple security challenges and conflicts according to region and these have led to loss of lives and properties, destruction of critical infrastructure, displacement of millions and the destabilization of economic, health and education system, including the death of many citizens. In a bid to nip the bird, these problems of insecurity in the Northwest, Global Rights, a human rights organization in conjunction with UK Aid, conveyed a regional conference on women, peace and security tag promoting best practices for inclusive security and peace building processes in Northwest Nigeria in Abuja to seek solution to these problems. ABS Abuja Bureau Chief, Ekwe Ajide, now report. A two-day conference brought in stakeholders in security, civil society organizations and community leaders to brainstorm on conflict triggers in the region and prefer solutions to them. In a keynote lecture on rethinking security, women as key drivers of peace building, the Secretary General of Women's Rights Advancement and Protection Alternative, Sadatu Madi, said Nigerian women are disproportionately impacted by conflicts, as these situations often exacerbate already existing for vulnerability. The Secretary General, who joined the conference virtually, was of the opinion that the low status of women and children is further diminished in conflicts and gave education and sustainable economic empowerment to women as one of the far-reaching solutions to the problem. Others who spoke, including the Sarakin Yakin Gaji, Alaji Sani Umar, Dr. Lydia Umar of the Gender Awareness Trust, Commissioners of Police of Sokoto and Kaduna, represented by officers ACP Ekbata James and Obeka Victoria, respectively, said if women are seen as nation builders and given the opportunity to contribute their quota, they will perform better. Affirmative action is also looked into because when you see the support for women, the more you engage women in the decision making, the likelihood of women be active in ensuring their child education. Active in taking charge of innovations, active in also making education is critical in security peace and building. Basing their assumptions that building peace requires strengthening the position of specific actors and women who are often at the receiving end of armed conflicts. For the convener of the program, who is the program manager of Global Rights, Edusa Uviawe, the Northwest region ranks highest in mass atrocities in Nigeria in the past 10 years, hence their choice of the region as the pilot of such discussions. In Abuja, Princess Ewi Ajide reporting. On the foreign scene, operations in Dubai airport remain severely disrupted as heavy rains continue to batter the United Arab Emirates 
UEA and neighboring countries. The storm pounded the United Arab Emirates on Tuesday flooding roads and the session of the busy international airport. Flash flood have now killed 20 people in Omar and one in the United Arab Emirates. Some inbounded flights have resumed today, but on the whole, Dubai International Airport, a major travel hub, is barely functional. Authorities are the world's second busiest airport said today that they had started receiving inbounded flights at the Terminal 1 used by foreign carriers, that's, but that outbound flights continued to be delayed. They later announced that check-in was open at Terminal 3 for Emirates, the single largest carrier at the airport, and fly Dubai flights. But they warned that a large number of travelers were waiting to check in and long delay were expected. In sport, all rounds of the Emirates FA Cup will also be played on weekends, including the fifth round which has been played in midweek for the past five seasons. The changes came as part of a new six-year agreement between the Football Association and the Premier League. The Premier League has also removed its mid-session break from the calendar. Matches will start in mid-August following a consecutive three-week summer break instead of a shorter spell of rest in the winter with the decision coming from expert advice from medical and technical departments. In its current format, the FA Cup has no replace from the fifth round onward, where the FA says the move to eliminate them from an earlier stage has been made in light of changes to the calendar driven by the expanded UEFA competition. But the qualifying rounds where teams from the fifth to the tenth tier of English football competes for 32 sports in the first round will still have replaced. The first round of the FA Cup sees professional teams from League 1 and League 2 enter with Championship and Premier League team joining from the third round. On a sad note, the remain of late Ezine Eunice May Kowulu have been committed to Mother Earth at her family compound Walker Obunu Newich Newi. Late Ezinde Eunice, who died at the age of 91, was a well-respected woman in the Catholic faith and a different woman group. Correspondent Justice Onyemobi now reports. At Holy Spirit Catholic Church, Mboka Obuno Newich Newi, Reverend Father Anthony Obiamalo reminded Christians that God will reward people according to their deeds on earth while enjoining them to work hard to escape everlasting destruction which awaits the wicked ones by living a holy life. For such gift, and the Lord of the Lord, 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 Speaking on behalf of his family, the first son of the disease, Mr. Peter Mekowulu, who described their mother as selfless woman who loved the things of God and has served God and humanity with her resources, appreciated those who came to sympathize with them. It's one of those things, you know, so I think I'm so glad yeah, as things are going. Also speaking, the founder and chief executive officer, Fela Ejiofo Foundation, Mr. Ndubisi Ejiofo, said that late Ezine Mekowulu was a benevolent woman and had worked tirelessly to support her family and also the church in many ways and prayed God to continue to comfort them. And then they should follow the step of their mom and wishing everybody that comes here when everybody goes back to their final destination, I wish everybody to save and everything. Condolence visits by in-laws, different groups, friends and well-wishers, internment and performances by different women groups, Umada as well as relative, featured at the event. That's the news tonight, but remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. On X at ABS Radio TV. On Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. The main point again. Anambra state government has trained over 100 drivers and others. Abga chairman Ezio Kenwas has urged members to advance party interests. Global rights is seeking solution to security challenges, conflict in Nigeria. 
on the foreign scene operations have remained severely disrupted at Dubai airport as UAE rainfall persisted. To end the news, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Thanks for watching. My name is Chinyere Ikureke. Good night.